So Lisa, tell us about why you chose Shamiana. I went there the first time um, many years ago, and it was amazing. I mean, um, it was when all the foods of around the world were really becoming part of the east side, when east side was really blossoming. The food, uh, to me, is just, I get a craving. I get a craving for Major Grays, and I have to go back. What I mean, is Major Grays? Major Grays is like a chutney, and it's got saffron in it. It's got a lot of different flavors. It's a lot of cardamom. Cardamom. Which is yes. really lovely. Yes. What did you have when you mm. went there, Denise? Uh, right. We had their special. I know that they, they have different curries on the menu, just regular mm -hmm. ones, but we went with their, uh, it was like their special the daily special cardamom lamb curry. It was so good and it was just really fragrant and mm -hmm. that slow cooked that you know that they put a lot of care into it and it, it took some time. Right. But yeah, the cardamom flavor was really strong because even with that we had the um, uh, mango lassi and they, they, it, oh. a little bit of that is in there even in the desserts. I just, maybe they just really like cardamom, which I'm not complaining, it's, it's a wonderful spice. And well, the mango lassi is that traditional yogurt yeah, drink? Yeah, it's like a yogurt mm -hmm. drink but with that nice like tart sweet mango, beautiful color. And I actually, I had their cardamom tea so I was probably drink, having a lot of cardamom Isn't that at the time. Fun? It, did you get it in the elephant? No, I did yeah. have, uh, I think it was a camel and you just pour okay, them out and he's like, yeah. whoop. <laughs> Stan, what did you have when you visited? Well, you know, ever since I, I had my first taste of Indian food at the age of 17 in London, and ever since then I have not been able to get enough. And so when some genius came up with the idea of the Indian lunch buffet, and, you know, and I've been happy ever since, yeah. whether it's, you know, for, for good or bad, I tend to judge Indian restaurants now on the basis of their buffet, because that's when I, I yeah. go. I'd like to try everything. Well, I have to say that they, they really got it right. Um, there's, there's a whole variety of curries, um, beef, there's this major gray, major gray chicken, which for me, is, that was the star of the buffet. That is absolutely uh, delectable. Um, there was a traditional chicken curry, two great soups, a coconut potato soup that was wonderful, and then mulligatawny, which was very good as well. And then, you know, vegetable curries and vegetarian, like dal and, and mixed vegetables. Too often I feel like um, Indian food is sort of being dumbed down for the Western uh, mm -hmm. palate. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get any heat. And you, you don't really get a sense of all of the different spices that go into these curries. And mm -hmm. having, having prepared Indian food myself, I know that that's the critical step, is that you, you, know, you saute the spices first. And that just brings out mm -hmm. the flavors, and then you add in the other ingredients. Like so when I'm tasting the clove, you know, I'm oh. tasting the cumin, I'm tasting the cardamom, all of the different constituents that go into the curry mm -hmm. are right there yeah. in your mouth. Um, and that's, that really kind of wakes you up and makes you go, mm -hmm. wow, this is really just good Just when food. you walk in, too, like you get that waft of, mm -hmm. that smell of just everything cooking and a busy kitchen, and it just kind of just fills your senses. And mm -hmm. so it gives you a sense of, of what you're going to be experiencing. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I like that experience mm -hmm. in the sense that it's like, this is what you're going to get, so be prepared. They actually have an original tandoori oven that they have in, in the restaurant. Talk to me, um, Lisa, about the decor and the, the kind of the look and feel of the room. Um, well, it's very an airy type feeling where there's the flags, they've got three type Indian flags hanging from the ceiling. It's like banners that kind it, of swoop. Or banners. Um, yeah, yeah. I thought that was a nice way to kind of use the space mm -hmm. because because of the high ceilings, it kind of fills it up and it mm -hmm. kind of absorbs and some of the sound. Trying right, to recapture sound. this whole festival tent idea yeah. that yes, you're actually inside. That's what inside, it is. Right? That's, that's what it is. Yes. Okay, they kind of want you to feel like, okay, let's take you to India. A little mm -hmm. taste of India right there. So Stan, you went for the lunch buffet. How was the service during lunch? The service was, was friendly. Um, and just just attentive enough, you know, mm -hmm. uh, bringing you what you need when you need it. I especially like the fact that they, if you had a question about an item on the menu, they were so nice. They said, oh, do you want us to bring out a, like a little sample? And like, sure. So I think they want people to feel comfortable with the food. If you're not familiar with certain flavors or spices, you know, they want you to, to try it first just to see if it's something that's up your alley. That's really mm -hmm. good to know because, I mean, I've been going there for so many years that I know what I want. Yeah. But a lot of people don't know what to order. Well, so Lisa, Shamiana nice. was your pick. Yes. Sum it up for us. It's the feel that you get and the taste of the food is, is just delectable. So Stan? Yeah. 
Well, I passed the buffet test with flying colors, so <laughs> I, I, it's, it's going to be on my list for dinner. I, I will be back for dinner and see, see how that, uh, I'm sure that that'll be great, too. All right, and how about you, Denise? Great, like, yeah, midweek kind of a, a, a stop because, you know, you get kind of used to the same places over and over, and you just, you, you never know what you're going to get if you just say, what's on the special, and you just get all those spices. Well, you can try the spices and the curry for yourself at Shamiana, 10724 Northeast 68th Street in Kirkland, 425-827-4902. Open Monday through Friday for lunch and dinner and Saturday and Sunday for dinner. Reservations are accepted for groups of six or more.